I have changed my desk setup once more. <laughs> I got a very kind complaint from Liz saying that my audio was a bit rubbish in my last video, my sketch with me video, so I decided to move my whole room about <laughs> before the uh, dining table, which is now over here, was over here and that table was in the bedroom but now I've moved them so that they're along this and this is the only configuration that I actually haven't tried yet Matt gave me a tip and said that this would probably be a really good uh, way to do it so I have my two studio lights at either side of the drawing desk and they're going to stay there permanently but I've took the umbrellas off them when I'm not filming and then this is going to stay here permanently as well. It is, yeah, it's my setup that's been working for a while. So it's going to stay there. And then we have my light box and just some bits and bobs. And then my computer area is over here. And then I've started to put up some uh, pictures here. But I've ordered a pegboard system to go above the art desk on this wall so that I can get all of this stuff off the desks and just have uh, everything on the pegboard so all of this as well will be off the desk. Do you like my glass of milk? <laughs> everything will be off the desk so that it's much easier, I have much more space because the reason that I got these two dining tables is because I wanted much more space and I have plenty of space, I mean I have a lot more space than a lot of people have but I just feel like this is the best way to go and this isn't very important but I'll quickly show you anyway um, because this is where my art, uh, computer desk used to be but now I've put a TV in here, this is the old TV the sound is pretty rubbish, I think we need external speakers for it but and I've got Caden's old Xbox, well my old Xbox 360 which I gave to Caden and then he got an Xbox One so then he gave me the Xbox 360 back so that we can watch Netflix and stuff in the bedroom. And then we have my two printers here which are just going to stay there for now because that makes uh, more sense even though it would make more sense to have them in the living room but I feel like underneath the tables I like it to be free. Right now the only thing that's under my table is my computer so I thought I would leave this here and that's the update. Oh and this, um, that chest of drawers used to be here so I've moved it and I've just put my easel there. Uh, it's still built so that I don't have to build it when I want it but um, it's there for the taking. So I just thought I would update you on that and I've also got this here next to the dining table to put all of my art stuff in still but I think I will be m removing them from there and putting them up there and finding another system of things to put in there. So that's it. That's my new setup and I'm loving it so far. It's been two days since I did that. I did it on Saturday and I used it on Sunday and Saturday night and I'm really happy with it. So yeah. You may remember that I have been struggling with what to do with my YouTube channel for the past couple of months and I do have some ideas but at the moment I just kind of want to take a step back and uh, just record studio vlog type videos. I have a lot of paintings to do that I could make into one single video but I just don't think that the speed paints are interesting anymore so if I do paint something I will record a little bit of it and then put it in the vlog from now on until further notice. I do have a few video ideas that I want to do that are separate art videos to the vlogs but I need time to edit those to actually make the video and edit them and I don't have a week. I have more, I need more than a week to do those. So that's what I'm going to do. I have written down what I need to do for today and I'm going to continue to uh, plan out the whole week just so that I know what I'm doing and so that I can get my goals uh, completed because I am launching my Etsy store in one, two, three weeks. Less than three weeks. No, three weeks in one day. Two days. 
three weeks and two days. I'm launching that in three weeks and two days so I need to make sure that I've got everything done for that and that means a lot of painting and a lot of scanning in and a lot of editing photos and uploading descriptions and things like that. So I have my check emails in the morning and evening because some of my clients are overseas and they wake up later than me so probably around maybe three o'clock to five I'll check those again then I need to paint my bread paint in which will be the next painting that I do and I need to print out my biscuits I've been sketching some biscuits in um, my uh, watercolour thing. You can't really see them because they're really light but I've been sketching some of those out to practice watercolouring on them because I want to make a full piece but I want to print that and transfer it onto watercolour paper just so it's there. I need to edit the Amino video and post it on Amino but that won't be until later because Amino videos do better at night and then print and cut the breakfast food stickers because I don't want to exactly sell those as packs but I do want to maybe put in one or two for free things for my Etsy store. That doesn't need to be done today. I um, don't know why I wrote it down today but I think that it's good to be ahead of things and I'm seriously considering not launching my Etsy store yet until I have my Kai Cup but I've been wanting to do it for a while and uh, I can easily add stickers in later so I'm going to do that and I'm just going to continue to set up this week and do the things that I know I need to do um, and then I can add to it later. I'm just taking pictures of some things and doing random stuff like the stuff that I said that I need to do today. But I need to drink my milk first miserable day outside. I've also lost Matt's bank card. I phoned the school to ask if anybody's handed it in but she said no. She said she's going to ask the janitor and get back to me so I probably will have to go into the office today to see because she will not phone me back. Oh I wanted to shout out somebody that I have been watching recently. Basically binge watching her videos. Hold on. I need to go to my history because I can't actually remember her name. History. I have been binge watching her videos and her studio vlogs are awesome and if you like my studio vlogs then you'll like hers because we are pretty similar. We blabber on a lot and she has kids so she has to run her business and then stop for her kids. It's Nubian Rock Chick so I will put her link in the description below. I think you should go and check her out. Her videos are awesome. Um, she has just 1k subscribers. I don't know how she gets way more views than me, but she has less subscribers, which is a good thing because you don't want dead subscribers. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I've been binge watching her videos and I think you should go and check them out. I have loved them. Um, and her art style is something very unique. I haven't really seen it from very many people. It's just like fashion orientated and there's a lot of diversity in her work as well so go and check her out and yeah obviously after this video please hello <laughs> it's what time is it i think it's quarter past two or something is it 13 minutes past close and i have done three layers on this bread painting already i was a bit scared <laughs> at the start when I thought I mucked up but I think it's coming together nicely I just need to keep on layering it on and making sure that I follow the pattern of the the bread so this is what I've got so far and in the camera it looks so much better than in real life and then from far away it looks really good but um, yeah I'm happy with it and while I was waiting on the layers of that to dry, I was cutting out these stickers. That's a really rubbish way to show you. That angle's rubbish, but I was cutting out these stickers. So we have my breakfast ones. So we've got the waffle and then the egg and the cupcake 
and the pancake and the bagel and the donut so I have eight packs of those these are all of the misprints <laughs> basically um, I don't know if you can tell but maybe if I hold them up together one of them is darker than the other so this one's light and more saturated but it's also got like little white speckles on it I don't know if you can see them and then this one's darker doesn't have the speckles and it's a lot better so that's that um, and then I misprinted these as well because they have the white speckles on them and these ones misprinted because the actual sticker starts um, below the sticker paper line so the sticker paper starts here and yeah so that I didn't border them correctly so there's a bunch of misprints that I will probably either give away or just use myself because there is a lot of them um, because the misprints aren't really that bad like it's just a little bit of a grainier texture but I just wanted to reprint them because I wasn't happy with the results and then I'm also printing these uh, sorry cutting up these stickers as well these are my original donut stickers the ones that made me want to do stickers in the first place so we've got that donut then we've got this donut which I don't actually like but I just printed it anyway to make up six this one this one this one and this one so those are one set of those uh, cut and then the rest of them are in squares. I've only got four sets of those. I've got eight sets of the other ones. Um, so yeah, just cutting them out. Oh yeah, and this one is also a misprint because, again, the sticker paper wasn't lined up properly at the bottom. As well as the fact that I, I put, when I first thought about doing stickers, I put a little line around them to cut them out. But I really don't like that line being there just in case I can't cut around it exactly and it would just be too for nickety. So I just ended up putting the white border around them and obviously you can't see white on white paper but I can just cut it out to the best of my ability. So I'm just going to cut the rest of these stickers before I have to go and pick up Kaden in about 20, 10 minutes. I also have to go to the office to see if I can find Matt's bank card and if not then I'm going to have to order a new one. That took me about five minutes to do one sticker pack. I want a cricket. I shouldn't even be selling these right now or doing these right now. I don't even have backing cards. I don't even have cellophane bags for them. I do have A6 really long ones but and I've been cutting them in half. I'll probably cut them in three or four halves, four bits for these ones because they're a bit smaller um, to package them up but I really need to order some more. Unfortunately though EcoCraft, where I get the cellophane bags from, has went on holiday or was on holiday the last time I checked. I think they might be back by now. I think they were going until September 7th maybe? So they were on holiday so I did not manage to order those. Plus, again, I kind of want to wait until I get a cricket or a cry cut, whatever you want to call it. Although I am a little bit nervous to get a cry cut because, whoops, whoa, because I just hear a lot of artists complaining about them. There are a few artists that have said that they're really good and that I should get one but there are other artists that just complain about there being so many issues with them and not being able to cut properly and just miscutting, misprinting, all that stuff. Wasting a lot of paper but I think that most of it is probably user error. I'm not saying that everybody that uses it is a bit silly but I feel like a lot of it is user error because some people have even admitted that they have made a mistake and that's why the cut didn't come out properly but it's just I really want to do kiss cut stickers but then again I need to spend more time designing than cutting out stuff that I don't even know will sell I've got eight sticker packs they can sit in my drawer forever if they don't sell it's fine or I'll just use them myself but um, 
I've already cut out eight sticker packs and I haven't even put them in my shop or launched them yet. Uh, I need to take pictures of them and put them on Etsy because I haven't done that yet. There's just prints on there just now. Uh, but you can't see them, they're private. I haven't launched them yet. So once I do launch them, you will know. October 1st! I'm so excited! Hello? Yep. Alright, is it... I, Llewellyn Jones, is it? Alright. Oh, that's good. Well, no good that it was lying in the car park, I... Okay, no problem. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Oh my god. They found my card. This week I really want to work on the Inktober sketches, but mainly I want to paint a lot this week. Because um, even though the Inktober thing is important, I just feel like it's more important for me to have the to have all the um, paintings ready um, stickers and paintings ready for my Etsy launch because my Etsy launch is on the 1st of October and then obviously I think I have enough ideas to sketch at least three or four different October Inktober drawings so as long as I'm a little bit ahead maybe by like 15 days ahead that would be the ideal one because I always seem to get to day 15 or 16 and then stop so I would like to get at least halfway through the Inktobers by the end of September but we've still got two weeks for that yet I want to spend at least one week on painting and then one week on Inktober sketches and then another week on painting again. Um, and I want to do the Inktober sketches before the start of, or sorry, the last week in September because I don't want to be freaking out on the last week thinking, oh my god, I've only got a week, you know what I mean? So I've just completely mucked up that cut then. The pegboard that I ordered actually set me back a little bit. It was £40 and I'm trying to save up for the Kicker which is £250. So it did set me back a little bit but I do think that I will be able to afford it eventually. Maybe I'll get one for my Christmas off of nobody because nobody can afford that amount of money <laughs> in my family. We are skin toe. And I always think that I should be spending the money that we get, if we have any spare money, on Caden. I hope you don't mind that I'm just cutting and rambling about things. Um, a lot of the reason why, and that girl that I shouted out before, that artist, illustrator, that, illustrator that I shouted out before, she um, is the same, she does the same because... I think that it's because you don't talk to anybody during the day and I think a lot of artists that work at home are like that. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 sticker packs done. Good afternoon. It is Tuesday now and I haven't been vlogging because I have been sucking at time and task management. I have a huge list of things to do today because I didn't get half the things that I wanted to do yesterday done because I think I just gave myself too much things to do. Um, I didn't get the amino video done, I didn't get the bread painting finished and scan it in obviously because it wasn't finished um, and I didn't print the biscuits or the transfer thing and didn't post on amino because the video wasn't edited. And then today I obviously migrated all those tasks over but I also need to do uh, subtitles today for a client um, before seven o'clock and then I need to finish the paint in and edit and f the amino video and I also need to finish the vlog edit 
it's literally got like five seconds of editing to do and I'm to finish that and then I have the scan uh, the paint the biscuits and the scan in the biscuits and the finish the bread painting and scan in the bread painting but I won't be able to even start the biscuit painting today I don't think so I've moved that over to Wednesday Wednesdays might be a hard day for me to work because Caden has this thing at school where we have to go and dance with him uh, we don't have to go I would feel bad if I didn't go because it's not like I have to go up to my boss and ask if I can leave work to go to this parent thing. Um, I could just leave and go if I want to. So I think I might actually work on the bread painting into the night. Well not into the night but tonight because um, it's nearly finished. This is what it looks like so far. It just needs cleaned up around the edges and deepened in the shadows and then it needs the white and then the plate needs done so there's still quite a lot of work to do. I don't even know what I'm going to do for the plate yet. I haven't um, looked up references for plates or anything like that. So I don't know what I'm going to do for that, but uh, it is getting there. I think it looks like a bit of bread or it just looks like a pile of mush. I have no idea. Tell me what you think in the comments below. It's this part here. It's supposed to be super light and it's not in the painting. Like all around here is supposed to be really light and then this is supposed to be really light and then this is supposed to be light and then this. So it's not really working out. I keep, I don't leave enough white. I think it looks weird when I leave white. Um, so I might have to put white back in with gouache. I definitely do for the little dots that are all around. I still need to uh, finish this CC job. It, I'm 16 minutes and 49 seconds in and it's a 20 minute and 5 second video. So I need to do that. Um, but I just scrolled down to the bottom and I was like, wow, there's still a lot of like text to edit. <laughs> Considering there's only a few minutes left of the video, like less than five minutes left of the video, it's still a lot of text to edit. So I have been working on this all day. I, I did one layer on the bread paint in it and I've been working on this, but I need to stop and prioritise things. Um, I need to edit the Amino video and I need to do more of that painting so that I can get it done but I've, I like to just work on one thing until I get it finished but that's not efficient because if I do that then I will never get anything finished because I've got to work on multiple tasks. I can't just work on one thing. Um, everybody always says that women are supposed to be more multitask friendly, like they can multitask a lot better than men but I can't. I don't know my gene must have skipped out on the multitasking because I can't do that. I mean, I can draw and listen to music or watch TV or watch uh, Netflix or YouTube at the same time and I can make dinner while watching things at the same time and I can walk and talk at the same time. Like, I can do normal <laughs> everyday tasks but when it comes to having to stop and start on a task and then stop that task and go to a different task and then stop that task and go back to the other task, it just it's hard for me okay it's hard um i also have all of these excuse the mess but i also have all of these um stickers on my desk still have no idea where to put them i don't have a storage system and i don't have the polythene or the uh the the bags for them to go into so kind of a mess uh, and I just want to sketch for fun, like personal sketching, but I do not have time to do that. So I think I'll finish the edit real quick and then that means, the vlog edit I mean, and that means I can tick that off my list and then at least I've actually ticked off something uh, for my list today because, yeah. Hello. I like this colour profile a little bit better. It's a little bit warmer. Anyway, um, I have finally finished editing my vlog video and I thought that I would tell you, because I'm really proud of myself, that I managed to get it down from 37 minutes to 23 minutes, nearly 24 minutes. So I'm really happy with that. I am really impressed with myself. I'm actually just going to save it though. No, 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 no. I've did that before. I'm going to produce it right now. I'm going to render the video so that I do not delete any footage and I don't lose it all like I've did in the past. 
Uh, can't say much for this video though, this is probably going to be a long one as well, but I'm going to render that and while that's rendering I'm going to do more painting and then once that's finished I'll try and maybe edit some of the Amino video or do some more subtitles before I go and pick up Kaden. Good morning, it's Wednesday, Wednesday now and I dug this jumper out of my like to throw away or to give away pile. <laughs> And now I remember why I was going to give it away. <laughs> my hair doesn't sit right on it. I think it would be better if my hair was up, but I hate having my hair up because of my ears. And then it's really hot and it just, I don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't sit right. I'm not sure if I like it. <sighs> I don't know, I just think it looks weird on me. Does it? I can't really tell in the thing but I'm gonna have to change it anyway because I need to go to a dance thing um, for kid in school I wasn't gonna go but I think I am now I'm just gonna take my sketchbook with me so that I don't actually have to leave and come back I went to Caden's thing and now I'm sitting in my car outside the school waiting and I'm gonna do some watercolor for a bit Good afternoon, it's Thursday now and I can't get anything done today. I'm just so preoccupied with thinking about how messy the house is but then not doing anything about it. So I need to clean the house. Look guys, oh, I'm so excited, I love this. Um, I set up this, well Matt put it up and I set up all the bits yesterday. I think it's really cool, although I do think it looks a little bit out of place, like the whole wall is completely bare. And then we've got that, but after I do my painting by numbers, my um, B paint in, I want to put it up and then put art and calendars and sticky notes and things all around there, just like uh, what Cheyenne or Shy, Shay, whatever you want to call her, Barton has. Uh, I'll put her channel in the description below because her videos are so aesthetically pleasing to watch and her desk setup is cool and that's what I aspire for it to look like. Um, I am going to move the prints that I have to this wall and just have them there so that that's a bit better situated and then rearrange all the back there but I think this will be really cool and cute for like a background. Maybe if I put my tripod here and then uh, zoom it in a little bit like this have it sitting kind of like that and then I'll be like here on this side or this side, probably this side. I'll probably frame it like that and I'll be sitting here and then um, I think that would be a cool, or like here, I think that will be a cool background shot but yep, I'll just show you exactly what I have. I uh, misinterpreted how small it would actually be. But it's big enough, really. I mean, I wish that I could put all of these up there too, but these like to be flat, so I'm just leaving those flat. But anyway, in this tub, I have uh, tools for things like extractor knives, com uh, compasses, my squishy bottle for my watercolours, and like tortillions, as well as some uh, electric and stick erasers and then this one just has a variety of pens and dip pens in it. Then this shelf has all my inks in it which I don't actually use but they've been away for a while. This is actually a, bo a bottle that had some e-liquid in it but I just put, um, I emptied it out because it wasn't very nice. No actually my dad used these ones. My dad had these ones and he uh, finished them and I filled them up with ink. So I have a few ink bottles there and that might be good for Inktober and that's why I put my dip pens here so that I could use those. And then I have my business cards and a little picture that I did in a video previously to this one. Not exactly previously but some point. Then I have this for just decoration with all my plants on it because these kept on getting like strewn about and not really Put up nicely and then this tub has all my watercolour pencils in it and then I have my acrylic palette there just thought that would be a nice decoration and also easy to grab I wasn't sure 
if this clip would actually hold this because it's a little bit heavy but it actually does so that's cool then I have my masking tape and my ruler and then I have my current sketchbooks my watercolor my normal one and I have watercolor paper behind there as well then I have my scissors because I'm always losing my scissors and then I have my swatch cards here and then the piece that I'm currently working on right now I have a few extra clips actually one extra clip up here and I really wish that I got the <clears throat> the roll holder so that I could hold my watercolour well my uh, toilet paper, not toilet paper, kitchen roll on it so that I can have that easily grabbed but to be honest there's not really that much room for that on this and I don't mind not having it but I would have probably put it here and then moved these down a bit so that they hung down that's why I asked Matt when he put it up to put it up um, at least a paper size down so when I, if I take this off I could put put that on the lowest one and then it would still be functional and then the the bar could go here because I could put this one down too like that and then have the roll there um, but I don't want to have an order on IKEA just for that so if I ever do order anything else from IKEA then I'll probably just put that in my basket as well but I rarely order from IKEA because the for furniture the delivery prices are insane and then I've brought this back out, which is my um, little bit, my little thing for bits and bobs. So I have my sharpeners, my clips, my erasers, and my refills things, as well as the battery. The battery shouldn't be in there, but I have a refill for my Victor fountain pen, and refills for my mechanical pencil. And also refills for my uh, electric eraser and then I have my pencil sharpener tin here some Tipex which I didn't know where to put <laughs> and then this tub is full of regular pencils pencils that I use regularly when I'm just sketching and then here I have some regular pencils as well as a white pencil and then I have my pro markers because I want to have a couple of those then I have felt tips which I never use then I have all my re my uh, watercolour brushes the ones that I use frequently and then I have a pot of Prismacolor pencils and there is some polychromos in there as well I have a candle and then I also have these two watercolour sets the reason I've got two is because the raw sienna that I use is in there and I like that paint but it's not in the other palette and then I've got this box of manuscript uh, for manuscript pens uh, for nibs and then this is my pencil case I don't know where my other pencil case is the one that I had in my last video I have no idea where I put it so I will need to find that but yeah so this is my desk set up obviously I don't have the lights here at this moment in time anymore uh, just for because I had that up but I will be putting them up and I made sure that it was small enough so that it fit in here but my lights could still sit at the side and then yeah my other desk still looks the same so I'm excited but I've got work to do it's a Friday today so Fridays are like the busiest day for me because they are so short because I've got to go and pick up Kate in really early on a Friday. But uh, Amanda, Elise Art, also link her channel in the description below, told me to check out this app which is called Focus To Do, I think. Yeah, Focus To Do. And I've basically just put everything that I need to do in here and then you can click on it and you can actually play it like you can play it so then it goes for 25 minutes and then you have a five minute rest and I think that this is a good way to sort of get everything done so I have it all in categories my inbox today is these things but I also have my work tasks and then I have my housework tasks as well so I will just go through this list in order of priority probably um, and I thought it was really funny I'll just tell you this real quick when you're staring at my phone because apparently that's 
aesthetically pleasing, not. You can stare at this for a little bit longer. Um, this morning when I went to go and drop off Caden, I was talking to one of the other mums and she said, oh, I've got a lot to do today. And I was like, oh, so have I. And she said that she needs to go and set up her ironing board. I know that's not how you say that, but that's the way that I've said it all my life. So don't, don't, don't come at me. <laughs> um, then she has to go and drop off her, uh, her boyfriend or her fiance actually and then like at work and then she has to come back and watch her program and I was like what <laughs> is that your list <laughs> and I was laughing it was so funny because it was like she had she was like making a big emphasis on the fact that she had so much to do today and then she um she said that and I was like what like that makes no sense but apparently today is her cleaning day so she has to get all her cleaning done but she also has to watch her program because she just loves her program and I was like well I'm not gonna go through my 20 <laughs> items list with you today because today is also my cleaning day but it takes me a little bit longer um, to do because I've got work to do it as well the reason I am not showing you my face is because I have morning face and I don't like it so I am just gonna go now and it's been 10 minutes already this vlog is gonna be mammoth to edit I've got a vlog going up today it is a week behind this vlog is obviously a week behind too so it's Friday today and I have a whole week worth of footage in this video so um, last week's footage is for the next video so I'm going to do the things that I seriously need to do right now and I'm gonna use my app to time it and I'm gonna I'm gonna do it